Hi. Now, in this part of the question, we were given the curve y equals f of x, which I've sketched in, and the two turning points t and s, with coordinates 3, 5 and 7, 2 respectively. And we've got to sketch this graph y equals 2f of x minus 4. Now to do this, what we've got to do is consider two transformations. First of all, we need to consider what happens when you do 2 times f of x, and then what happens when you subtract 4. Well, first of all then, if you do 2 times f of x, what that represents is a stretch, scale factor 2 parallel to the y-axis, with any points on the x-axis remaining invariant. So basically what that means is that this point here stays put, okay, but this point, okay, will move by a scale factor of 2 parallel to the y-axis. So it's 3 units in from the y-axis but 5 units up, so that's going to go to 310. So we'll say it's about that point there, okay. And then this point here, which is at 7, 2, it's 2 units up, is now going to go to 2, 4. So we'll say it's that point there. This point on the x-axis stays invariant. So we're going to have a curve doing something like this, coming up through here, through that point, all the way up, turning at the top here, coming back down, round through here, and then straight up again. Now it's not a great sketch, but just hopefully it gives you some idea. That would be y equals 2f of x. Now we need to subtract 4. And what that means is that the graph gets translated 4 units downwards parallel to the y-axis. Well, we already knew that this point here was at 7, 4. So if we pull this down 4 units, it's going to drop onto the x-axis. So Let's just do that. We'll pull this graph down. We'll take it from here, pull it down onto the x-axis. So we've got turning points here and here. And we've got to uh, give the coordinates of those turning points. So what are they? Well, this point here is going to be at 7, 0. OK, so we'll just mark that in. Well, it's marked in anyway at 7, 0. And, well, well, we'll put it over here. Let's just put it here. Turning points at 7, 0. And where's the other turning point? Here it is up here. Now, remember that it was originally at 3, 5. We did 2 f of x, so it went to 3, 10. And then we pulled it down 4 units. So that will now be at this new point, which we'll mark in, is 3, 6. Alright, so we've got a turning point at 3, 6. Now the graph looks a bit cluttered, so let's get rid of that red graph, and there we have it. We have the graph then of y equals 2f of x minus 4. Turning point at 3, 6, turning point here at 7, 0.
cos theta or the quadrant method.